When the government announces a sudden recall or discusses the removal of a product from shelves, the immediate assumption is often that an unforeseen defect has emerged, like a car's airbags not working in a crash or a fish tank breaking on its own. Usually it's because they found out some new information that makes the product unsafe, and that's usually true. But there's one industry that doesn't follow this pattern, and that's Big Pharma. Big Pharma gets special treatment and can't be sued easily. When they recall a product, it doesn't always mean they found a big problem. Instead, it often reveals a hidden problem they knew about, but kept secret until they had to admit it. After COVID, people are more aware of these incidents, but the true frequency is hidden by propaganda. Right now, the pharmaceutical industry is thinking about one of the biggest recalls ever. They're considering taking back over-the-counter cold medicines, including popular brands you might have at home. The government says these medicines don't work. To be clear, some over-the-counter products do work, but the focus is on a specific group that uses a certain ingredient. This is a big deal for the millions who trusted these products, based on the government and Big Pharma, only to find out they're about as effective as eating a cookie and drinking warm milk. The immediate question is, when did the regulators and pharmaceutical companies realize these products don't work? Contrary to what the news says, it's not because of new information, but that wrong idea keeps being repeated in the news.